Alcohol is a powerful drug. Hey guys, it's your girl Courtney and welcome back to my channel. So today, 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 we are going to be discussing a weird trend on TikTok. I don't know how we got to this point. I feel like I ask this question a lot and when I make videos, how do we get to a certain point? How does one live a normal life and then start acting abnormal? <laughs> how does this happen? How does it happen? There's a TikTok trend where people waste food. Waste food for money and views. That's literally it. There's no other reason as to why they're wasting this much food, but they are. It may be one of the lowest forms of comedy that exists. Austin, get you! What the fuck? What the fuck? Did you laugh? Did you even giggle, chuckle, snicker? Did you experience any of those emotions? Because I definitely did not. But this is really what we're gonna be addressing today because I really don't know how this became a trend. I feel like it's absolutely ridiculous, okay? And before we get into this video, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being awesome. Call me Ariana Grande. <laughs> if you don't know what a Reezy is, I'm gonna tell you right now, Reezy's are the best people on the internet. And honestly, the only way that you can become a Reezy is if you hit the subscribe button. I'm so sorry. Sometimes the singing spirit comes out. But being a Reezy might be the best thing that you ever do in your life. So hit the subscribe button. Join and let me know how it felt. The first person that I ever saw to make this type of video is a TikToker known as Wasil Dawood. Excuse me if I mess up his name. I think he's the one that really started this and he made his entire content based on wasting food and he actually got six million followers from doing that, so. Chocolate powder! Me. Perfect. Whoever's watching this type of videos, I blame y'all. His bio says CEO of Perfect. So I guess at the end of every single video, he says Perfect in an accent. And I don't want to do his accent because I don't know if that's disrespectful or something. Let's just go through some of his content because I want to see what there is. Maybe if I watch enough videos, like I'm going to feel, wow, I need to subscribe to this person. Maybe. Okay, just a quick waffle. Hold on, wait a minute, that, he just bit into this thing and it's soft, it's soft. The consistency I know is not right. This is not pancakes, we're eating waffles here. Mixed fruit. Wait, did he just break, okay. We're wasting food and we're also breaking plates. Okay, I just, like, where does the food, how long does cleanup take? I really, I wanna see the whole entire process happen. Like, imagine dating him and then he's like, oh, I have to go to work. And he goes into his kitchen and this is what he does. Someone said, bro, I really hope from the bottom of my heart that your pillow is always too warm. That is the worst. That is the worst. I do not understand this humor. I don't either. I think there's a lot of people that don't understand it, but it's also like, there's obviously an audience that does because people are watching it. People are watching and they're following. He's also claimed that all the food that he uses in his videos are expired. Some people doubt that to be true. If we really analyze this video, let's let's look at this. I'm telling you, that milk needs to be chunky. That milk is coming out a little bit too smooth. Almost like you just bought it. I definitely know what spoiled milk looks like. And I've had the traumatic experience of accidentally drinking it. I don't even want to bring that up. This is so nasty, bruh. If we really keep it in the buck, you said the food is expired, but you just ate it. Who are you trying to fool? What made him think, let me pour a bunch of food on a table? Like, what What was the plan? What was the goal? I really, sometimes I just, I really question some stuff, you know? And I'm questioning this. Before we continue the video, here's a message from today's sponsor, HelloFresh. I can't lie, HelloFresh is my best friend, period. <laughs> HelloFresh gives you fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and recipes right at your doorstep. One of my goals for 2022 was honestly to cook more and stop eating out as much because 2021, I did that a little too much, okay? And over the past two months, HelloFresh has been my go-to. Personally, it makes home cooking fun, easy, and affordable. And it's also really, really good. They offer so many different recipes and so many different things that you could try and I've been able to try out new meals that I probably wouldn't have ever tried if it 
wasn't for HelloFresh. And let me just say this, when it comes to HelloFresh, the food is gonna be good. The meals are actually good. I feel like y'all probably think like, oh, you're just saying this because the video is sponsored. I'm telling you, every single meal that I've made has been amazing. I've been using it for the last two months and I'm telling you, before even working with HelloFresh, I've been using it and I love it. I've literally put my friends on. I was spending my own money and paying for those meals because it's so good. If you guys want to try HelloFresh, definitely go and try it now. Go on HelloFresh.com and use the code Reezy16 so you can get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. I honestly save so much time with HelloFresh because they have such quick and easy recipes, including 20 minute meals, easy cleanup, and low prep options. I mostly cook these meals for myself, but when friends come over, I also cook them meals. Like it's nice when I have guests over and I can actually provide them with food. But yeah, if you wanna try it, definitely try it. Check out HelloFresh if you haven't already. And like I said, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code Reezy16 so you can get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Okay, now back to the video. <laughs> So Topper Guild is actually another creator who has 27 million followers for doing similar content. He does this type of content plus more. And honestly, I don't really even want to get into his other type of content because it's just... I can't believe you cheated on me and you have a baby! No, babe, it's not what it looks like, I swear! We're done! No, wait, babe, babe, what are you doing? Say bye-bye! No, goalie! Say bye-bye! No, goalie! to say what did you throw she literally threw air she threw air i can see a ring fly you know what i always think when i see videos like this how many times did it take to get this the shot i think his content is really for the kids. I can't imagine anyone watching this over the age of 10 and being happy with their life. Basically, Topper Guild also does the same type of content where he wastes food for money and views. Okay, just a little bit of butter. Okay, put that right on top. Mm. Perfect. <laughs> you just drank butter. Like, are you happy? I, just, I, I actually have no words. This is just different. He's doing the accent at the end. Perfect! Perfect! And that's not even his accent. That is not your accent, babes. I put music over my videos. Yeah. Thank God. Okay. Yeah. Come on. A little more. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Like, it, you just, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't. Oh, I'm just imagining the thickness and the taste of that much caramel in your mouth. Okay, some barbecue sauce. Okay, now let me just rub it in. That steak is not good. And why, where did the phone just randomly pop up for? There's no phone. All of a sudden there's a phone. Where, why is the phone here? I feel like I'm still in disbelief. Now that I think of it, I'm like, I have a little cousin who's like four or three or two. She's just little, you know? And I can imagine her watching this like over and over and over again and laughing. <laughs> like I can see her just on her little iPad, just. <laughs> whole bell pepper in there. You put two, three, three whole bell peppers in there. Bacon and cheese. <laughs> Ask yourself, did you really have to taste the uncooked egg? Look at where it paused. Are you happy? Every time he tries something, I just have to question, are you happy? down but no honestly like when i watch this it's like you're actually wasting a lot of food it's incredibly insensitive actually like when you really sit down and think about it it's like i don't believe that any of this is expired i feel like they're trying to convince us that they're using expired food so we'll be like okay that makes sense as to why you're wasting it but it's like i'm looking at the food i think i know what spoiled bell peppers look like i think i know what spoiled eggs look like i think i know what spoiled onions look like i'm not i'm not stupid <laughs> i just think it's very insensitive because it's like there's actually people that don't have food. Situations like this really just show someone's privilege and their ability to 
Yeah, they can buy food. They can buy as many eggs as they want and just throw it away any chance they get. But it's really sad to know that there's people that don't even have enough money to buy bread. Like, it's just so sad to think about. And videos like this always remind me of that. What is the goal besides, oh, I want to get a lot of views and I want to make a lot of money? This is your passion? And sometimes I wonder, like, people that make stuff like this, it's like, how do you even get to this point? How do you get to the point where you're like, you know what, I want my career to be me spilling food all over the table and all over the floor and then cleaning it up and then making another video doing the same exact thing. How do you get to that point? So he also has a girlfriend called Coley and her face just... And I've actually discussed her in previous videos before. She was actually in a influencer house and I did a whole video like talking about it, but she does the same exact videos as him. They're not any better. All right, some ketchup. It was for me. <laughs> Her and Topper, they both strategically put devices on the table so the comments can be filled with, oh my God, you left your phone on the table. Oh my God, now your phone is messed up. Oh my God. Maybe that phone has not lit up. Turn it on. That's the same exact phone right now. This is their harassment phone. This phone has no other function but to be abused in TikTok videos. It's a little bit of caramel. <laughs> Now a little bit of coffee. <laughs> the scream. I know that, that little scream that she did at the end did it for my four year old cousin. That scream made my cousin die of laughter. It's the way they just copy each other's videos. We just watched the video of him doing that exact same thing. Pull it up. It's a little okay. bit of yeah. And, and now for the coffee, coffee pot. mean I, I'm not even trying to be mean in this video but I mean it's just so funny how all of them are just copying each other I have watched this same exact video by all of them but you know what's even funnier about this whole entire situation Wasil and Topper and his girlfriend are actually having beef they're literally having beef over this type of content the content of wasting food yes that is what they're doing Wasil he originally made this idea and Topper copied him this is the weirdest beef that I've ever seen in my life because what exactly are y'all fighting about you're fighting about wasting food. And who is allowed to waste food? Ben Ben! Topper! You still copy all of my content? My Arabic accent? My every move? Are you not tired of copying me? I've even caught you and your girlfriend liking my content before and then remaking the video like the next day. Dang, okay. They have no shame. <laughs> they actually have no shame. If I'm gonna copy somebody, one, I'm gonna wait a couple days before I do it. And then also, I'll try and switch it up a little bit. So it's like, okay, if you accuse me of copying, it's like, no, I didn't really copy you. Even though I know deep down I copied you. But they don't care. Besides that, my food is actually expired. You're sitting here wasting real food, bro. Okay, so he claims that his food is expired. See, unlike you, I don't actually plan out my videos. Instead, I have a company, Undisclosed, send me food in boxes like this that actually can't be sold at grocery stores because they're actually expired and they come with stickers all over them just like this. And by the way, bro, your creator friends, I'm also pretty good friends with and they tell me that you actually go to a grocery store and buy all the food for your videos fresh. They're more of my friends than yours, by the way. Why didn't you add the end? <laughs> Y'all are both arguing about wasting food. That is the argument. Like when we really sit down, look at the facts, look at the situation. Y'all are arguing about who gets to waste food. He claims that his food is expired, but um, I don't know. I just think this whole entire thing is stupid. At the end of the day, like your audience is very young. Kids are so impressionable. A kid will literally watch y'all's videos and be like, I want to make my own too. They're not gonna go and get expired food. They're not gonna contact the company and be like, oh, I wanna make videos with expired food now. But crazy enough, Wasil has actually changed and he doesn't even waste food anymore. If anything, he actually promotes not wasting food. Wait, wait, did he just put the eggs on his face? Cloud is a powerful drug. Bare thing. He changed his 
his waist. He's come a very long way. He must have got tired of cleaning up, cleaning that table, cleaning them floors. He got tired, but I'm proud. I'm proud of the growth. He's even stitching Topper's videos. Bad <laughs> Yeah, so uh, anyways. Okay. I guess that's a good way to like handle the beef. <laughs> but crazy enough, Topper is copying Wasil on this new content. Two! It's becoming too much. Look. <laughs> no. Liquid butter? Like, how can you copy everything? That's scary. That's how you know, like, some people just don't have shame. Shame has left the chat. Because for me, I would be embarrassed if I became known as someone that copies everything. Everyone. But yeah, like I was saying, like, how does one get to this point? How do I avoid this? Did you try other types of content and then you realize, ah, that's not working for me? And then you just started wasting food? Or was this the original plan and it just worked out? Like, how? How did it happen? And will I ever get to that point? I would like not to. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Please let me know what you guys think about this new trend on TikTok. Or it's not even a new trend. It's actually been happening for a while. It's very gross to me because I, I don't get it. And especially since there's too many people that try and lie on social media and say like, oh, food is expired. Food is this. Da, 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 da. We know the food is not expired. Let's be real. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter and just all my social media, especially my Discord. Twitch streams will be coming soon. And I will see you guys all in my next one. I love you and peace.